Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm Mary. I'm Linda. We're Pinky Mouse Sisters in the Kitchen. And I'm feeling good today. Good. You look beautiful, felt, Mary. Your oh, hair oh, looks so you. pretty. I um, Yesterday, I got it feeling good. Now, I don't last for about a half a day, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I feel good, uh, and I'm just thanking the Lord for it. So, And uh, what we're cooking this morning is called a ranch chicken casserole. And... Um, it takes about 35 minutes to cook in the oven, so I have done as much pre-prep as I can so that we won't be on the air so long. So what I've done ahead of time, I've used, um, first of all, I cooked a whole chicken last night. I cooked a whole chicken and I deboned it. And here, I'll, I'll show you this. I deboned it and I cut it into just pieces. So I did that last night. And um, and then I put uh, put actually um, I put probably two tablespoons of oil. The recipe only called for one, but um, and then I this is a an onion, a large onion, and a large bell pepper. And I use the um, their food chopper, Linda, to chop okay. it up. And I mean I, I can't say enough about that food chopper. I know every. So I've already one. softened these up. And now, Linda, if you want to help me. Do you uh, want me to finish cutting these? Uh, well, or do you want me to do, do something that over here? Minutes. Now we're going to put a can of cream of chicken soup in it. Linda, you can either empty the check the cans or you can stir whatever okay. you want to do. I'll empty them. Okay. Well, here's a, I got the spatula over here, if you don't mind, Linda. Okay. We try to divide up our duty, so if you'll, if you'll um, empty the cans, it's a cream of chicken soup. Aren't you going to rinse these out? Uh, no, because I don't want it watery. Okay. Just get you what you can You know I'm going to get as much of it <laughs> I as know. I can out. And then uh, cream of celery. You can chop up a couple of stalks of celery into, you know, real fine pieces. But my family doesn't care for celery that much. So I'm, not, I'm omitting the stalks of celery and just putting cream of celery soup in it. And then I'm cream of mushroom. And uh, just mixing all this up. Y'all may see me making a face. I don't like cream of mushroom. I'm sorry, Linda. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, there's something else. I forgot what it was, but I think it's something else I was putting in. Oh, I know what it was. I didn't get it out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I got to get some sour cream out. Um, you don't like sour cream, but Linda, That's when it's okay. cooked. That's okay. I don't mind the sour cream in it. When it's cooked, it's um, different. It's got a lot here in a can of Rotel tomato. It's got a lot, and I know some people don't like the the cream of uh, chicken, uh, cream of soups, the the can. And you know what? There is a recipe, Linda. Have you ever made homemade? Uh, I cream haven't, soups? but I, I had neither. I knew you could. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just okay. trying to get this out of your way. I'm just stirring it up. Mixing it up. And, and you're uh, not going to rinse out the can so I can throw these away. No, yeah, you can throw it away. And then one four ounce of um, diced green chilies. And then a teaspoon of minced garlic. I'm trying not to talk so fast, but it's hard not to when you're trying to get this mixed together. Anyway. I, I do a lot of casseroles, Linda, and you know that, and y'all know that too, where you use some of the same ingredients that I'm using in this, but it's just, uh, uh, well, I don't put cream to celery yet. Yeah, this some is a little other. different, it's though. It's a little bit different. It now. is. So do you want me to cut the rest of these now, um, or you still want me uh, to wait on that? You can if you want to. Just cut these in triangles. So The tortillas, it takes... Uh, the recipe says it takes 24, but I may not use that many because um, this is a big casserole and I, it may not take that many. This is similar to that Mexican casserole um, that we make, that Mama made for yeah. so many years. Okay, I got all that done. Um, Do you need another spatula for the sour cream or want this uh, one washed? 
it doesn't matter. A spoon would probably be better. Now, okay. this is a half a pound of Velveeta chopped up. I chopped too many um, onions this morning. I'm going to put them up later. I'm going to go ahead and put this chicken, this, uh, turn that down a little bit. Thank you, Linda. You just You're move welcome. that out of the way. I'm going to bag those onions up later and freeze them. I just want to get this cheese in here and let it start melting. The broth, when I cooked the chicken last night, I strained the broth and put it into containers and put it in the refrigerator. And now this morning, I took one of the containers out and warmed up the broth. You don't want to put your tortillas in boiling broth to soften them up, but you do want it to be to warm enough that it softens. That's what softens the tortillas. And when you're doing casserole, right, a Mexican casserole, enchiladas, mm -hmm. uh, if you'll dip your tortillas into the warm broth or a warm sauce, it's, they're much more manageable to, and easier mm. to roll up. If you put them, if you try to roll up the enchiladas on cold enchiladas, they break. So if you soften them in some chicken broth or or your enchilada sauce. Well, I knew they needed to be at room temperature, but I didn't. Uh, yeah. I didn't well, that's think why about we that. do. That's why we've done it church, Linda. Okay. That's well, that's why a good idea. And Very it, good idea. And believe me, I have rolled hundreds of enchiladas, beef, cheese, uh, chicken from the church. That's so, a great tip. Uh, okay, we're just gonna try to get that cheese melted, and then um, I need to stir this up. I know you don't like sour cream, Linda, but I think it'll be. I think you. I think that, it'll be fine. all right. I don't mind it cooked in something. Cooked. I was gonna try to wait till this cheese kind of got melted a little bit because once I put that sour cream in there, yeah, it's gonna be ready. It's a good dish. I I keep uh, thinking. Uh, Nathan, our our um, cousin, mm -hmm. the year that we had Christmas at his house. Um, he made a chicken dish, and I cannot remember the name of it. To hmm, ask well, you'll him. have to ask, I him, ask him. So Nathan or Connie, if y'all watching, I want that recipe to that chicken. It had a tomato base. I don't know what it was, but it was delicious. And I want hmm, Nathan's a good cook. Nathan Connie is a is too. fantastic cook. He cooks like his mama, ain't Elsie. I'm about to get this cheese. Yeah, Nathan and Randy did. Randy uh, is a good cook. Did um, the meat for your seventieth right. yes. birthday party? Yes, they did. They they do a fantastic job. Okay, and I'm gonna put a, about eight ounces. It's not much. The cream cheese in here, and you know what? Sour cream. Sour cream. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know what you could put. Um, that's uh, on a lot of recipes. Anything that is similar, mm -hmm. um, you can you can add according to what you like. Uh, I mean, you could even put cream cheese in this. Or what you have. Yeah, on what hand. right? What you have. So um, so if I put something in this recipe that you don't like or don't want in there, just don't just omit it. We made a white sauce last night with cream cheese. Did you? Oh, oh so good. I meant it was. Yeah, you were telling us about <laughs> y'all cooking. <laughs> Linda's getting her boys, little Linda is getting her boys to help her in the kitchen. So she said, if I got to cook, y'all going to have to help me. I think that's a great idea. I think idea. that's a wonderful idea. So uh, Linda said, what'd you say about the boys? What happened? I just said it was a crazy show because Braden is so literal. Yeah. That it, it, you can't use like sayings with him. And then I don't read directions. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that was a pretty big cut. Uh, yeah. Uh, I would have loved to see that. <laughs> yeah. And we, we had fun. So. Yeah. I'm so sure what did you and Nathan make? Nathan and I, oh, I don't even remember. It was Saturday. It was good though. I so does remember. he like to cook too? Uh, no, but I told him if I had to cook, he had to help me. So. Well, he needs to know how, though, because, yeah. you know, exactly. he may Men. be in a situation sometimes when he has to cook. Men makes good cooks. Okay. All right. Um, this is, I think I've got this pretty well stirred up. Okay, Linda, if you don't mind, uh, yeah, 
Uh, do you, well, is it okay to put more than I together? I was just going to put it over here so they could see it. Oh, better. okay. Okay, we'll put it over there. We'll turn that burner off because it is getting done. It is getting hot. And, Are you uh, through with the knife? Uh, I am, and unless we need to cut, cut I'm some I'm just going to lay it there. I'm going to pour this broth in here. It okay. still should be, it's still hot. And, and just put your tortillas in there. Do you uh, do you want to do them one at a time or just, just put, put several in there at once? Put several in there. Okay. Don't put so many that they're going to stay in there and soak. Because okay. we don't want them to soak, but we want them to get soft. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to put... So what are we putting these in when I take them out? Right, that's why I'm, I'm getting this. Okay. I'm just going to put a, a spoonful of this sauce mix. I'm going to put a, one more spoonful. And do you think this is long in this. there long enough? Yes, it is. Do you yes. want them any certain way? No, just put them in here. Lay them on the bottom. Do you want them to overlap or no? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just lay them, lay them across the bottom and I'll put some diced chicken in there. Pork tacos with red cabbage. That's what we made Saturday. Oh, okay. It was going to drive me crazy until I remember. <laughs> oh, it sounds good, Linda. I may not be getting them out fast enough, Mary. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I can help you if you want me to. Yeah, I might um, might work better because they're they're okay. getting soft real okay. quick. All right. And I don't want to ruin your dish. Well, they going to get soft in here anyway, so... Just layer it. I think I got two together you there. Yeah, but that's okay. I'm just going to separate. That's good enough. We'll put one right there, please. Right there. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Okay, now I'm going to uh, just put a layer of chicken in here. It's going to be a big dish. It's a big dish. I don't want to. Uh, this was a, uh, I don't even know how many pounds it was, but it was a big chicken. That was a huge chicken. It cost nine dollars. I couldn't believe it. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna take it over here and put some more. You can make as many layers as you want to, and it, it just depends on how thick you want to make it. Okay. And you notice I did not I did not put any salt or pepper in this. Reason for there's no salt is because of all this cheese is yeah. in it. Are you still um, noticing that everything tastes salty to you? Not as bad. After COVID, what Not about as you, bad. Linda? Is yours getting better? It's better. Mine Good. is too. Mine's getting better. And I am I am so glad because I didn't even like salt anyway. And then after COVID, it... Um, Ready for another layer of this? Yes, yes, please. Just put a layer. And uh, we cut them. Linda did for me, but you don't even have to cut them, just break them. You know, just um, the, the reason for that is so that it, um, when you go in to get to a helping of it, you're not you're uh, not getting a whole ton. Oh, well, well, I like that yeah. idea. So I do. You just, uh, all right, I'm kind of, there's one right there. Well. You have to, whenever, now, uh, since I told y'all about the enchiladas, I'm going to tell you uh, something else. If you're doing this for enchiladas that you're going to roll up, you don't soak them. You just literally take one. Just dip, dip them. Dip it. And that's right. Because they'll, they'll tear up. Exactly. So. And this has to cook for 35 minutes. So that's why that I was hurriedly trying to get I think we can do one more layer okay I may have cut too many tortillas Ouch. that's okay hot <laughs> it's hot would you give me a paper towel Linda <laughs> thank you I just wanted to wipe that off yeah I didn't do a good job. That's okay. I'm going to move this handle around so I can hold onto the pan a little bit better. Do you want me to hold it up? Well, I just, I, I just want to save enough for another one last layer. Okay. That's probably enough. 
Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. I didn't think this container here was going to hold it. You can use any 9 by 13 inch pan, but I said, when I seen all that chicken, I said, I'm not going to be able to get all that in there. But you know what? I think I'm going to. All right. Just uh, one more layer and it should be ready. We had, um, you know, we I've told y'all we had uh, Brother and Sister Boatman's uh, 40th yeah. pastoral anniversary at the church Sunday. It was so nice, Linda. I know it was. It was so nice. It was beautiful. After the service, uh, we went in the back and, and had um, uh, lunch. Uh, it was kind of, it was more like hors d'oeuvres, but it was beautiful and it was decorated so nice. Uh, the tables, Sister Tamara did a great job. And... Um, and then people, because there was people there that hadn't, that didn't come to church all the time. Some of them traveled a long ways to be there. Mm -hmm. um, they told about different incidents that how uh, Brother and Sister Boatman has influenced their life. Oh. It was beautiful. It was so emotional. I just, um, it was, I, I just, Linda, I, tell, I, I told a little something about you on there. <laughs> oh, Lord, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> I told uh, Linda, uh, Y'all all know little Linda has a heavy foot, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I told, I said, uh, you know, Brother and Sister Boatman both has had a big influence on my life. Uh, I know the first time that um, when I first started going there, I wanted my husband to meet Brother Boatman, but he wouldn't go to church with me. So um, Linda's car, she had a little Mustang. Uh, she flooded it out. I had a Camaro. A Camaro, is that what it was, yeah. Camaro? I see, I said Mustang, I forget. Okay. But anyway, and it flooded out, and so I called Bobby to come and, and do whatever he had to do to get it working. And um, in the meanwhile, Brother Boatman comes by, and he stopped, and so I got to introduce him to Brother Boatman, and he made a good impression uh, on Bobby. Bobby said, that's a good man. And can you pick it up, or do you yeah. want me to spoon it? And uh, so that's the way he met, met uh, Brother Boatman. And um, and then Sister Boatman, um, Lin little Linda got so many tickets when she was a teenager. <laughs> and Sister Boatman, she'd find out about it, and sh and she would say, um, uh, I'll, I'll, "I'll we'll we'll go we'll take care of that." So she'd go down there and talk to the judge, and she'd get her out of the ticket. And I think she did like five of them that way. And I told Linda, little Linda, I said. You're going to have to stop doing that. Sister Boatman can't keep getting you out of these tickets. And um, so um, uh, that, was, uh, that was kind of funny. And Melanie, her daughter, was there. And when she got up to speak, she said, I want to let you know that she never got me out of any tickets. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mama, you owe me one. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, so. Do you want some more of these? No, I would okay. not need no more tortillas. So we did not use a 24 count like the recipe says. So, so if you're going by the recipe, don't cut them all because you, it, it depends on how the size of your pan and how, um, how much filling that you put on top. Now we're going to put the cheese on there. And this is what well, you're supposed to put two and a half cups. This is more than two and a half cups. So. I'm just, um, I grated it this morning, and I just, it was a, it was a 32 ounce block, so I just, I just kept shredding. So, you can, this is another thing, you can put whatever you desire. Two and a half cups will probably be enough, but I like a lot of cheese, so. This will feed a, a, a several people, yeah, it's it a will. big dish. I'm hoping, Linda, will you, boy, you and your yes. boys eat some of this? Um, and, um. Um, I've shredded it really fine. I see there's a little piece <laughs> that's not shredded fine. I like but it. Doesn't I like matter. it shredded it'll, fine. It'll um, it'll melt. I'm gonna put that big piece in there. I'll take care of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just want a thick layer. Okay. All righty. All right. Everything in here is done, except it just needs to get incorporated. So uh, let me wipe the sides of it off, make sure. I think 
think someone just tagged their wife and asked them to make this for dinner. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I love All it. Right. Okay, if you'll open the uh, preheat your oven to 350. This is ranch chicken casserole. Okie dokie. And we Set will the timer. timer. Okay. We'll get this. I was going to do it. Oh, well. I guess I just grabbed it. Let me throw, throw this in the trash. There's some more over there. Okay. All right. Lin, uh, little Linda was saying this morning that um, how good those berries were. They Just, are really good blackberries. And Chuck said the same thing. Chuck said, Mama, those blackberries. And I'm going to be at Trophy with you. I have never really cared for blackberries. I, oh. haven't even, I haven't even tasted them. I love blackberries. Because <laughs> I've never really cared for them. But I, since all y'all saying that, I am going to. I'm going to. They were, I sat down and ate a bag of them. Did you? Oh. And the, the, where we pick it in this orchard, it's very clean. It's not. Now, I have seen snakes there. I've seen more in the blueberry patch than I have in the blackberry patch. But I think Mike's seen some. We're going back. Now, the blueberries, are they ready now? They are, but I'm telling you, those little things are hard to pick. Yeah. <laughs> They're a lot harder is to pick right? than yeah. blackberries yeah. are. Uh, but, and this is my little stand that... Isn't that nice? That I put my recipe on one of our followers sent us. Okay, well... What did we, you what you say, Mary, when you got there, the reason why you was late? Well, at, the, <laughs> at the berry patch? Yeah. Well, I got a um, warning ticket the other day for speeding, and... Um, so I'm having to watch my speed. <laughs> I don't. I don't want. I don't want to get a ticket because I've got a warning ticket. Do you remember what you said? I really don't remember what I said. What did I say? I would have been here earlier, but I had to drive the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> I have laughed about that all week. <laughs> Little Linda didn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> I know, I do. Uh, uh, did you Mike's know the same way. Is that right? Drives yeah. me crazy. Well, when you're in a hurry, I was in a hurry because I knew I took, apparently I took the long route or didn't allow enough time or whatever. But uh, little Linda was sitting over there on the passenger side and every time I'd get a speed she says, Mother, uh, you're going five miles over, you're going 10 miles over. And she kept reminding me constantly to slow down. I said, Linda, how do you know how what the speed limit is here she re she put on the die she says right there and i was i was thinking she couldn't see my 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 yes, dash, but it was on the navigation screen what the Showing so what the speed limit i thought was. well i need to find out how to hide that thing <laughs> if if any of y'all have it maybe like this in some other states too i mean i've driven and worked in so many different states and you have too but in east texas we have a lot of little towns, and the yeah. speed limit yeah. may change it three changes. or four times it within changes. a mile. It does. And and they look for people that are going right. over the speed limit. I just seen that little old critter that crawl across my wall. I had been trying to kill that thing. That thing will sting you like you wouldn't it? believe. I forgot what it is. It flies. Does it? And I had been trying. I tried all day yesterday, and every time he'd get away from me, um, I'm going to eventually find it. It's It looks like an ant. But a big ant, but it's got wings, and it will hmm. sting you. I've been stung by one of them, and they hurt. I don't know where it come from, but there's one in here. Not like I said, I seen it crawl right then. I, I got to see if I can't find that thing, and kill it. I had my fly swatter out all day yesterday. I just put it up this morning. But anyway, I, the reason I said that is because I figured you seen that bug. And you're I did. What is that I bug? I didn't see it. And it's a, a lot, looks like an ant. And I wouldn't do that on the wall. But um, y'all, y'all may I may get some um, judgments over what I'm fixing to say. But what do you do? Um, I pr if they're on the floor or in the bathroom, I spray hairspray on them, and then I oh, can get right? them. Oh, yep. Okay. Well, I hadn't thought about. It. I have all kind of wasp and and ant spray. I have all because of being outside. We get red wasp around here every year this time. Yeah. I mean, I have that. I have to keep a, a bottle on the a sprayer on the porch and one in the pantry and and everywhere. So when I see them, I can grab it right quick because um, them red wasps. I got stung yeah. by one. You remember? Uh, what? How long ago? It's must have been last summer. I got stung. Yeah. I had to go to the doctor. Yeah. Mary's, My arm swelled yeah. up. See, uh, there it is. 
I missed All it. All right, we'll get it later. We'll um, get it later. Mike goes outside at night mm -hmm. hunting spiders. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> and he sprays them around because okay. I, I do not like spiders in the house. And so he goes out there, and, and sometimes, you know, I'm sitting there on my phone, and I'm not paying attention. All of a sudden, I see a flashlight shining through the window, <laughs> and I have to get up and see if it's him or if it's, we got a prowler outside, which is a joke. Cause, yeah. uh, well, I'll tell you what I'm fixing to do. I did it last year. Um, I'm fixing to call the exterminator. A, a friend of ours is, is exterminator. Yeah, I'm just yeah, for ants, because ants, they start coming in and they get on the yard, and he does an excellent job. He'll spray all under the house and, and in the yard, and I don't know what it is. It's like he, it's like a foam, a, a not foam, a spray. Okay. Dust. I mean, it gets in the air. He did it on the trees out there where ants was getting on the trees. And, and then he goes in the house. He don't do a lot in the house because all of underneath the house comes up on yeah. the, the uh, walls. And uh, But it works. So I'm fixing to get him back out here and it'll, it'll take care of those ants and all that stuff. We live in the country. Yeah. It just happens. We, we get spiders um, and all kinds of stuff. I told Mike the other, uh, last night, I said... Um, I want you to spray because he is really careful about yeah. about spraying outside yeah. to keep the spiders out and ants. We like you said, we go through a lot of ant poison yeah. for yeah, the yard and on. also spray for around the house and wasp and everything yeah. that flies in your door when you right. open it. But um, I told him, I said, I want you to start spraying around the house again, you know, so we make sure we don't get anything in the house. Um, over the next two or three months because, you know, they're hot too. They're looking for a cool place to land. Yeah. Um, I just, I don't, I don't, I know I live in the country, but I don't like all them insects no, and no, stuff. No, 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 I do Chuck I has don't like sprayed uh, outside. I mean, not sprayed, but took those ant granules all over. But whatever uh, Dwayne does, Whatever he does, it works better than anything. And I was, I was concerned about it hurting Einstein. He said it was on hurting, but he the last time he come, I mean he had my yard looking like the smoke from and, yeah, from, from all the the, fume, the stuff that he was. Uh, it's I don't know I don't know how to explain it other than it's just like a fog and it just it yeah. gets into small areas that you can't really get around to spray. There's a product that we ordered on Amazon, and I'm not going to say the name of it. I know the name of it, but I'm not going to say it because I'm not you know we're not endorsing it, but. Um, we have used that, and it's it's pet friendly, and it works. You know, yeah. and Mike is very yeah. particular yeah. about that because yeah. y'all know if it crawls or moves, Mike is going to feed it or pet it or talk <laughs> yeah. to it. Cause yeah. He loves animals. I know. But um, I, I wanted to say, go ahead, Mary. About the goats? Is that what you're oh, well, saying? Oh well, I was thinking about goats, <laughs> but that wasn't what I was fixing to say. Well, I told all y'all that I was getting me some goats. Well. <laughs> I had to see this. <laughs> well, I thought that I would get them. Shelly hasn't brought them to me, and I think it was going to involve more than yeah. what she realized because she lives in Oklahoma. And when I told her it was going to cost $1,500 to get that area cleaned up, she said, oh, Memo, I can bring you two goats, and and it'll be over, you know, and eat all the investors up. Well, she hasn't done it because the two goats that she was planning on getting, they got rid of them before she got back. So I haven't told her yet, but I'm not, um, I don't want to do that. I'm fixing to have it done and forget about the goats because I got to think, you know what, that's going to be a lot of work and I don't even have time to do what I need to yeah, do already. It, it, anytime you have animals, it's a you lot of work. You have to go out yeah. there and, and, uh, and agree, you know, move, the move, them, move them yeah. and all that. So I don't think I'm going to be doing the Mary's goat Mary's not thing. an animal person I'm in case really y'all didn't know it. <laughs> No. <laughs> That's why I didn't think, I just couldn't see that yeah. happening. Well, I wouldn't be doing it, Linda. It'd be Chuck. Well, It'd be I Chuck guess so. Because um, Chuck does those kind of things for me. Now, what was she going to say? And well we again? are, we are, well, I want, first of all, before I forget this, um, I want to say uh, thank you to Barb uh, Cassidy for sending Mike the sweetest birthday card and writing the sweetest note in it. He was so surprised. He said, I've got fans too. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's birthday is June 22nd. Next Wednesday. Next yeah. Wednesday. And so, um, you know, he is a special person. He, he doesn't is. like fanfare, but he really do, He really does yeah. deserve to be yes. recognized. Yes, he does. He doesn't want to be, trust me. But uh, he does deserve it. He sure does. And uh, 
you know, we can't make a big deal over it, but I would love to, but um, he... Well, uh, I'm making him a strawberry pie. He'd rather have a strawberry pie than a cake. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to make that sucker bouquet. Um, I've got the stuff to do it. I just haven't done it yet. Do you want me to help you yet. make that sucker bouquet? Um, we could do it tomorrow if you wanted me to. Depending on how much time we spend okay. tomorrow, okay. I'd love for you to help me because yeah. I know it'll look better than what I would do. Do you but, want to uh, tell them what we're going to do tomorrow? Uh, Ain't tomorrow Wednesday? Yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday. Uh, you know, what we're cooking? No, what we're going to do before we cook. Oh, yeah, we can tell them that if you want uh, to. <laughs> we're um, we're going to be interviewed again for Okra Magazine. And that's O-K-R-A, like the vegetable. Yeah, it's uh, Most of them are sold by subscription. Right. But you can buy them in bookstores. It's going to be the late July and August early edition. August edition, we will be featured in that magazine again. Along with some other... Along with other, other Southern cooks, yes. So that was really yeah. fun. We were in this magazine yeah. last year, last wasn't year. it? Last yeah. year, they... they uh, so we're very excited right. about that. Yeah, I'm excited about it too. And um, Mama's so, book will get recognition, which right. I'm really happy right. about that. Yes, me too. Really me too. am happy about it. And so. we're getting our yard slowly but surely cleaned up. Well, it was already looking really nice. Well, it's, it's what, two and a third acres, and of course the house, and we have two outbuildings that sit behind the house. But Mike, for years, Mike kept everything up. We have like over 100 trees on our property, a lot of trees. Yeah. And I love trees, but trees produce limbs, and they produce a ton ton of leaves, yeah. lot, yeah. lots of them. So we're getting it done a little at a time. We got the front yard done and we got the side, but um, the back, y'all hadn't been in the backyard in a Not while. Not mm -mm. no. Looked like a little small forest back there or, <laughs> or woods. And um, so they're raking the leaves. Is that what they're doing no, under the trees? They're not raking the leaves yet. The but you can see you can see the yard. We had so many trees, pine trees yeah, that pine had trees. grown up right. from pine cones and whatever yeah. they grow from. Yeah. Um, so um, they're cleaning all that off. Literally, the from the well shed back yeah. to the fence line okay. and across okay. the side. You couldn't even see the fence because there were so many trees. So they got they put all of them down, or at least they were finishing it when the small, I left. You talking about the small trees? Yeah, the some little. of them are taller than Mike were, but wow. you know I was thinking they were like three feet tall. And I go out there and they're they're a big pine really? tree. So okay. he's getting all that cut down. Okay. Then we're gonna have to wait a little while to get uh, the leaves up. And then some more stuff done, but I'm so glad to get that yeah, done. I know that you has will. just worried me yeah. to death. Well, it, you're, it's looking nice, um, but the people you get is so far apart. It's far from me. Yeah. Till it 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 wouldn't profit them to come this far to yeah. do my yard work, especially with gas. The price yeah. that, the price so, that it is. I know that gas is outrageous. It's just ridiculous. Um, so, um, and and then Thursday. We will be um, going to Nacogdoches, yeah. our hometown. Yeah, our hometown. They had Blueberry Festival there this I past know. week. I wanted to go so, so I bad. I did too. I did too. But I just did not feel like I could handle the heat because it's always hot, but that it was so really, hot. really triple digits and the heat index was way over 100. And um, just, I would just, I would just love to have been there. Yeah. But yeah. I just didn't think yeah, I could do I, it. Well, I couldn't have went anyway because I was with it, working right. at the church Right, I knew Saturday. you were. And I didn't want, so, I didn't want to go by myself yeah. either. But um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I am too. I'm really excited about going to Nacogdoches. And little Linda's going to go with us this time. So, so we don't have to hold the camera. She's uh, going to hold it. Um, we'll be showing y'all some, um, some nostalgic places that we grew up with our childhood. I want to go back and look at that place again. I just cannot get it in my head. You talk about where we grew up? Yes. Our, our, yes. Our, Mary doesn't believe me well, when I, I, I tell her you, where I, our house was. I, <laughs> I've got before and after pictures, but she still don't believe me. I just, <laughs> I cannot get it in visually how our two houses set on that piece of property that that is there because 
I guess as I, I do understand when you're a child, it looks bigger than it actually it is. But I just can't, and the trees, there has to be different trees that's grown since then. So that's tree marks, and I, I just can't visually, because in front of our house, there was like three trees. Well, those three are not trees. there. They're right. not there anymore. And um, it just, and then that tree out in the front, in front of Pinky Ma's house, um, where Mama stood whenever, whenever Dad was shooting her, you know, was shooting at her. That that tree is not there. Yeah. So it's just so different from what um, I um, that I re that I remember. And I know that tree uh, where mother, you know, when mother ran from the house and ran out there and stood behind the tree. Um, that that's where I fell. Because sand that those were sandy mm -hmm. roads. Right. And I uh, was riding the bicycle and I hit that sand. And uh, and turn and right in front of Pinkie and Ma's house, and I turned over. It knocked me out. Pinkie Pie was sitting on the front porch, and he ran out there and got me and picked me up. But that just sticks in my mind, yeah. you know, that it's right there by that tree where I fell and, and knocked myself unconscious. And um, so that tree is not there. So it's just so many things that well, is not there that that right that, hard that for you me were to used to accustomed to as a child well if you think about it when you're coming around the corner and coming up looneyville road toward mm -hmm. the schoolhouse right. you are at where uncle fred's store was before you know it i, I know mean, so you're i know then there's only one space but um well not George's. was there one space between uncle fred's store and pinky paul's house wasn't it it was mr george it was, it was a road right there beside pink the uncle but, fred's store, store and then from there until our property was george's mr george mr. and george. then it was pinky paul's and then it was yeah, ours yes right. and uh and two, Miss Johnson's was from our property line to the next corner. Uh, Miss, ain't what her name? Johnson. Uh, Anderson. Anderson. Miss Anderson. Anderson. That's right. That's Miss Anderson. You're probably thinking about Miss Vine. You might be thinking about Miss Vine. But no, her, hers is on the other side of yeah. the road. But no, it was, it was Ms. Anderson. Miss Anderson. That's right. Yes. I forgot the name. I these names I can't remember. But it just seemed. And there is comparison to our property to comparison to Miss Anderson's property. It just doesn't seem right because Miss Anderson has the way it is now has such a huge area compared to what we had and ours was ne our property line well, was next to hers. But her house sent way back. I know it did. Ours sit close I to the road. I think it's still there. It is still yeah. there yeah. or at least it was the last yeah. time I went. Yeah. But another thing that's confusing Mary is um, aren't there two houses to the left of where our house used to be? It pr I think it, it, it is now. And yes, it is and those now. houses were not there when we that's lived right. there. But how did those, how, how did that spot appear Whenever our property line was next to the Andersons, so did Miss Anderson sell some of her? Probably, hers? probably. Her, That's what's confusing her to me heir because sold that those front two part, houses yeah. next next to our property. That's where I visualize our house. Being. Yeah, it's it's just set yeah. up different, but yeah. that that's got that the rest of that hurricane fence around it. That's I know where that. our house. I know was. it is because that was our hurricane fence, and it's still there. <laughs> yeah, it so, is. Yeah, I I know it's it still is. There. It's just uh, you know. You know, you have things in your in yeah, your life, it, in your childhood. It does make a difference because yeah. you're, like you said, the landmarks is mm -hmm. what you, but the tree yeah. that Daddy tied his nets on is there. Is it's in the back. still there. In the back. Yes. I take a picture right. of it every well, time we'll, I go. We'll go, we'll go and see. I just enjoy, I would like to go and just be slow and just, and just sit there for a few minutes. I would but, like to walk the property. But there's people everywhere watching you well i don't the people that's next door i've talked to them charles has talked to them well, they're very nice to, people yeah. they're not they the first time i went i was my, my well my car is gray but i was in a black suv they thought i was a police <laughs> <laughs> they thought i was doing something yeah. they was, might might be scared yeah, but <laughs> yeah. that's what they told us they thought that the piece told us that the people who lived there had a, had a wine, wine cellar in the in the uh, no, in the no, ground. No, 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 not my one. mama. That was never a bottle of wine in my mama's it house. It wasn't a wine cellar. It, it was, was a storm house. <laughs> yeah, that's that was, was so funny. Let me see here. What are casseroles? How many minutes? Oh, we got but we knew everybody on the road and the, and all yeah. the little pig trails. We called them pig trails. Yeah. 
they're um, they may be paved now. Some of those roads that go off of, of Looneyville Road. But in, in case y'all are wondering, there was a town called, or there is a town called Looneyville. I don't know if there's anything there or not. That's where the road got its name, Looneyville, because it was a little town. It was between, it's between um, uh, Lilbert, um, if you look at a triangle, Lilbert, Trawick, and Cushion. It's somewhere in that area, and this road at one time went to Looneyville, oh, and that's okay. why the road was named oh, Looneyville. Okay. okay, okay, But a lot of people hear the word Looneyville, and they think Looney, you know, <laughs> but that was the name of a town, you know. Yeah. There's, there's, every state has you different towns. You know, there used towns. to be a Baptist church, a little Baptist church across Right across the road. this road it's from us. It's not there anymore. No, it's, it's not. We went to... Uh, it's like little vacation Bible schools there, and, and yeah, uh, we went to church there some. Yeah, yeah. Cause we, it's across the road, and we like to go to church. <laughs> we went to church. So, yeah. Charles and I went to um, the Nazarene Church down in, in Nacogdoches, and it wasn't downtown, but it was off from downtown. Charles probably remembers it. Um, a friend of somebody that I went to school with went to church I there, it, and yeah. she invited us. And I don't know why Mary didn't go, but for some reason she's probably on a date or something with all of her no, boyfriends she no, had. No. <laughs> she had them lined up <laughs> at the door. No, <laughs> she she honestly did. She had three <laughs> dates in one night with uh, three different people. Well, I didn't think this all going to show up. <laughs> This one, this one had all the guys no, looking just, for her. They just wanted to talk. That's all I wanted to do was talk. But you know what? I, you know, I didn't really like any and of them. And wasn't any of them, didn't any of them live in Nacogdoches? No, they, they all drove yeah. to get there. Yeah. You know, them, quite a ways. One of them from Hawkins. Yeah. And uh, what's that? About 70 miles. Yeah. A good we long went. way. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. I, I mean, I, I should, I did, that was wrong. I me mean, telling them I'd sit with them, but I didn't. Well, two of them I didn't think was going to show. No, one of them I didn't know was coming. And then the one I told him from Hawkins that I would sit with him, I didn't know that my real boyfriend her, her, would show up. Her outlaw yeah. boyfriend. He wasn't meant for me, and the Lord <laughs> showed me that, and I didn't marry him, but he's the one I liked. And We all liked him. Yeah. He was a likable guy. He had a good guy. personality. He had a good personality. And um, he sang good, and he played the guitar good. So, and he was from a church family. Yes, yes. He was just a rebel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's the one I liked, and I didn't know he was going to come. And it wasn't like that I was, it was just, we were young. We were well, no, I was probably 15 no, by then. you, you probably, probably were. 15. It was before um, Daddy died. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was 18 when Daddy died. So I might have been, I might have been 16. I probably was 16, yeah, you 17, I don't know. But anyway, uh, do we have any questions, Linda? Uh, no. I haven't seen any. Okay. There was something I was gonna tell you earlier, but I can't remember what it was. Okay. Oh, somebody said that y'all are the reason that her mama won't text her back because she's watching y'all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well, at least you know what she's doing, right? <laughs> That's funny. Well, we appreciate all y'all um, watching us and sharing our videos and talking to, to about. Now, at the at the church um, over the weekend, uh, you know, when we first started doing videos and everything, it wasn't wasn't big one when we first started doing it it was kind of big and then you know how it just kind of people don't talk about it as much at church mm -hmm. you know and um but over the weekend we had a lot of new people some from lufkin and some from different areas and uh they all was talking about pinky malls <laughs> and wanted a picture of me and and with it, with them and wanting a I gave him a business card, and one of them said that she was going to promote us. That she's a she's over um, the uh, singles ministry, and that is Sister Carter. So some of y'all know her. I'm sure you do. Um, she said that um, uh, whenever I said something, that she was inviting me to uh, Brent's in Missouri with the singles group, and I said, <laughs> "Oh, Sister Carter, I am so busy." And she looked at me. She said, "That's right, you're picky malls." <laughs> And I said, yeah, and she said, I gotta get a picture with you uh, anyway. 
but I appreciate, I, we appreciate both we of us. We do. We appreciate we it. Appreciate. I, I just, um, I think about Mama so much. And I know. She, first of all, she wouldn't understand the texting and she wouldn't understand the videoing or, or any of that, but she would be completely mm -hmm. amazed by right. it. So. I tried and tried and tried to get her a cell phone and she wouldn't have nothing to do with it. And this was in the early years yeah. when the cell phones had just come out. Yeah. No, 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 she would not have anything to do with it. <laughs> and I think about the uh, the uh, the elderly people that watches us. Yes. How are, hard that it has to be for y'all to figure out how to get our video. Or how smart they yeah. are to do it. <laughs> so we've got a lot of y'all out there are older than us, and I'm so proud of you because y'all are figuring out how to, to do yeah, Facebook. And, and sometimes and it's not easy. I know. So I'm just real proud of y'all uh, uh, following us and, and knowing how to, uh, to work the uh, Facebook and computers and things. Someone and, else said uh, they told their daughter not to call them between 10 and 11. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And somebody else asked about Aunt Linda's birthday. Aunt Linda's birthday. My dear sister, y'all know I'm not comfortable with this. <laughs> we are having a Linda's celebration for her birthday, belated birthday. It is June the 25th at at my church on um, from 11 o'clock to two o'clock. It's going to be a lot of surprises that we uh, that we're going to be doing, and it will be a light lunch served. So don't eat before you come. You're going to have plenty to eat. And uh, it's going to be like a meet and greet. And I'm not going to tell y'all everything we're going to do because I don't want to tell Linda because she doesn't know. So um, just we're going to video. We're going to do, do some videos and we might leave one video going and just, you know, I, I don't know. Linda, little Linda is going to be in charge of the program. So whatever she's got planned, I know it's going to be great. And um, hope y'all, and if anybody's in the area, you can come, but you do have to let me know. If, uh, because the little room, the fellowship hall at our church will only hold about 50 without it being too crowded. So I do need, I know I've gotten several texts, but I need to know if you plan on coming and how many, because we want to make sure that um, we don't overcrowd. And then some people, um, I can't ever remember his name. He's a, a funeral director in Kilgore. And, <laughs> I think it's Steve. I cannot, I'm so bad about names, but uh, he said he may just pop in, you know, so there may be some that just comes in for a few minutes, but we do have a program worked up. So anyway, come I, if you can. October will be here before you know it. <laughs> she better not. I have done warned her. And you then we're going to, we're going to be switching places then. <laughs> don't, I done told you, I do not. I've had a big birthday party. And I do not want nothing, nothing on my birthday. This is it. Let's call it even and quits. I do not want no celebration for my birthday. I may not show up. Yo, yeah, you will. We'll <laughs> drag you there. Anyway, mm -hmm. I just... Uh, I, well, I appreciate my sister and, and the girls and Chuck doing this. I really do. It's not that I don't appreciate it at all. I didn't even have a wedding because I did not want people to go to the trouble to have to come to where we were at and have to do the expense of it. And have I regretted it? Maybe a teeny by, tiny bit, but, but not because I knew I it would be a hardship a on, I, on Mama and my family, and I just chose not to, so um, I didn't. Well. You should have had because that's you only do that one time. <laughs> uh, well, you might do it more than once, but mm -hmm. your first one's always special. Yeah. Anyway, so this was my only one, just in case y'all are gonna somebody's <laughs> gonna ask. <laughs> yeah, sister. Uh, Carter. You'll be think, you'll have them thinking I've been married three or four times. <laughs> no, uh, uh, my husband's been dead fourteen years, and I have attended some of those um, singles. singles uh, conference a singer get together this is what it is and I have enjoyed it but I hadn't been in quite a while and just Carter says I hadn't seen you lately I said no I, I'm just too busy but I hadn't gotten remarried I'm not she, looking she don't have enough time to do I that don't have time. <laughs> she'd have she'd have a 
Uh, seriously, we, we all would be happy for Mary, but she'd have a whole bunch of people, or he would have a whole bunch of people <laughs> to answer to, so I'm not real sure if there's one around that wanted yeah. to do that. <laughs> I'm 75, soon to be 76, and I know there's. I still have life. I know I do, but um, I just, my grandkids and great-grandkids and you and my kids, you know, I'm involved with all of them all the time. Every day there's something. And so I wouldn't want to put my husband through that because my husband, I would have to choose. As, because that you do supposed to, you yeah. are supposed to put your husband first. So that would be something that I'd have to really think about long and hard. Bobby and Mike were, were special. Yeah, they, they were. Knew that, yes. They knew that yes. they would not come between us. Yes. Yes, and our family, yes. and they didn't. They didn't. They but didn't. No, Bobby never did. He loved Linda. Uh, okay, let me check this. I think it's probably done. I, well, I know do it's a, done. Um, do you need a, a you know trivet out get here? That, you, yeah, you can. I was gonna get that board out. It's heavy. Wow. Heavy. Heavy. That is. That's a casserole, Mary. That That's is a, beautiful. That is, I'm going to turn the oven off. Um, but we need a picture of it. Yep. Grab my phone right there and I'll take a picture of it before we dig into it. That's going to be hard to, hard to um, eat because it's so hot. <laughs> oh, come on. We need, I'm not good at this. Linda's a good photographer. It looks beautiful. Linda, you'll have to crop yourself out of it. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, Linda, you want a plate or I think I didn't. No, I just plates. want a bite, Mary. I just want just a bite is all I want, just a taste of it. I should have let you done it to begin with, Linda. We're gonna We're going to dip into this thing. Now, if you want to cook it longer and kind of brown that cheese, but it's done. I, I, don't, th even, like I don't even want that much. I just want a okay. bite. I okay. don't want to waste it. Well, just get you a piece. And truthfully, I, I'm, I'm looking at this. It probably could have I've cooked maybe 10 more minutes because I'm looking at the tortillas. The tortillas are done, but they're just really soft. That is going to be hot. It smells good. Mm. I'm burn my mouth. She don't like, is it mushroom soup? Or yeah. sour cream? But I don't like neither one, but um, <laughs> no, you don't the sour cream sorry. I don't mind. No, 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 I don't <laughs> mind it cooked in something. It's, it has, it's good. I like it, but has a delicious taste. It you. really, you really can't tell the sour creams in it. No, you can't. And you can see the mushrooms, so you can always pick them out. <laughs> you don't like them. <laughs> and if you want to put celery, a real uh, stalks of celery chopped up fine, you can put that in there too. But I think the cream of celery was enough in it's there. It's full of flavor. It's really good. I mean, this is a big it's casserole. A big It'll dish. serve a bunch of people. Yes. Well, we appreciate y'all. Um, following us and um, just uh, remember to get when you get up in the mornings the first thing if you if you rush and busy like we are say your prayers a little thank thank Absolutely. you Jesus before you ever Absolutely. get out of the bed because if you do that at least you're thanking the Lord that you got up that it you sets the tone set, for right. the day it yes. does so if you'll do that you'll probably have a better day and so we appreciate y'all following us. And, and we'll be cooking tomorrow at my house. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be baking something good. Yes. Something yes. old timey. Yes, you will love it. Don't forget to count your blessings. We bye love y'all. Bye-bye.